So when you're in prison, you're going to have to boop bop a do the two, bro. It's only right. It's just like when you wake up and take a shower and shit, G. It's part of the prison lifestyle, pero. So anyways, there's a couple things you don't do when you boop bopping, G. And I'm about to run a couple examples by y'all, G. Like, there was this dude one day that he was like, hey, G, I'm about to boop bop the shit out, bro, man. I've been waiting for this shit my whole life, G, shit. My dad was a great boop bopper. His dad was a great boop bopper, G, shit. Even my cousin done boop bopped a couple fools, bro, and I haven't, G. I'm crazy snapping, bro. Like, put me in there, fool, straight up, G, right now, G. So, anyways, they put him in there, G. The boop bop, let's say, for example, was 15 seconds, right? This dude was in there at 27 seconds still going at it on some Stranger Things type shit, bro. Like, he's looking for some shit, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, relax, bro. As soon as the boobop initiated, he just blacked out, bro. He was fucking in there, bro, like, looking for Will, G. Like, where the fuck is Will? Where's Will, G? Boom, boom, boom. But he's searching for Will in this dude's head, bro. Like, cracking that shit open like an egg, G. I was like, damn, G. So right after the boobop... They boobopped the shit out of him, bro, and they did it the right way, G. You know what I'm saying? They went over there, took the right amount of seconds, and got up out of there, G. No one was boobopped after that, you know what I'm saying? Another situation I seen was this dude that was, like, very, very humble, and you know what I mean? He felt a lot for people, and he didn't believe in the boobop, but he had to, bro. That was like, boo, you gonna go boobop this fool right now, G. So while the boobop was going on, G., he fucking felt like it was okay to walk out. He was like, y'all got this handle, G. I see y'all whooping the shit out this dude. And it was fucked up, G. It was like, if it was like a Pokemon battle, G, you know what I'm saying? It would be like a Machamp versus a Magikarp, G. Straight up, G. Like, you know, motherfucker got six motherfucking arms, G. Punching that motherfucking Magikarp out. Boop, boop. You know all his move is Splash, G. All he could do is Splash, G. So anyways, let's get back to the story, G. So... This fool that was whooping this dude's ass, bro, right? So they was like, bro, this ain't fair, G. Hey, y'all got this? He, like, just went ahead and said, peace out, G, and went to his motherfucking sleeping area, G. Probably one of the worst mistakes that he could have done, bro, because these dudes went over there and whooped his ass, right, G? Did him a boot bop. But then the next day, they was like, hey, remember we told you it was going to do He was like, nah, I didn't know you meant it. another one, but they did. They meant it was going to do three, three different boot bops, G. So the third boot bop, that fool was like, I ain't doing this shit, bro. Long story short, the cops came and got him, and we no longer seen him ever again, G. You know what I'm saying? But it was a pretty sad story, G. And anyways, the third fucked up boop bop outcome g was this dude that he was right there like hey bro hey man that fool look big though fool like you sure us three can handle him and they were like the homies were like fool shut the fuck up you already asked this question like 17 times g you're not gonna fucking cheap shot nobody during the boop bop g and he was like i just think it'll make us have better chances g you know like if i creep up from the side and just boom you know when i was in the hood one time the homie was and he was like bro i don't care about what you was doing in your hood you know you going to go fight this dude straight up, three on one, G. So, anyways, they went ahead and split the bunks aside, you know what I'm saying? They moved the bunks side to side, and they put the four individuals in the middle, G, so they could handle business right there, right? So, they put the four dudes in there, and old boy went in there and just cheap shot at him, G, right in the freaking temple, right? So, I don't know if he thought right after he cheap shot him, everyone was going to follow suit, like if he's in the hood and he's jumping somebody, and they're like, let's jump this fool. But when he cheap shot at him, that fool just fucking dropped, bro. Like, one thing you got to remember about when you're in prison, we're doing workouts every day, G. We're not just out here freaking just chilling, smoking cigarettes and weed and drinking beer and doing bolsita, G. You know what I'm saying? And doing irrelevant shit, fighting for no reason, bro. Being mad instead of happy when we could be happy instead of mad. You know what I'm saying, G? But... We're in there like awesome beastie mode shit, bro. So if you cheap somebody in a temple, G, you probably going to kill him. You know what I'm saying? So this fool, anyways, he knocked out, G, right? And uh, when he got up, he was like, what the fuck? First thing he, in his mind was like, attack the dude that cheap shot at him, bro. So now, old boy that cheap shot at him already got boot bop because he cheap shot at him while he was still <laughs> Mimi mode, G, you know what I'm saying? But then he woke up and now he's getting boot bop because he just took off on the dude that just already got boot bop, but he didn't want to hear the explanation. Y'all following me? So then after he got boot bop and they went again to do the regular boot bop, the dude cheap shot at him, G, again, G. So then they just whooped his ass, commit, continued with the boob bop, came out, boob bopped him again. I hope y'all still with me now, G, and then everything was solved after that, G. But anyways, the reason of this story, G, is if you in motherfucking jail in prison, G, and you get assigned a boob bop task, 
Just pay attention. Do the boo bop. Don't carry the way. Go get carried away, G. Just do what you got to do, G. And, and go back to your regular day living, G. And if you don't like doing that shit, period, then stop going to jail, G. Straight up, G. Go get a nine to five, pero. Go go to fucking UEI, G. Or whatever the fuck those commercials are. You know what I'm saying? Stop procrastinating. Get a job now. You know, remember that dude from back when we was little? Go do some shit, G. Straight up, stop going to jail. Black and brown, we out here, pero. You know what it is.